Hi. So in continuation to the discussion regarding how to prepare for interview, we were talking about the important uh, factors or notes that you need to take care while reading job description for a particular position. So in that reference, I would like to introduce one more element that you should be carefully taking care while preparing your interview. That is equipments and tools. So what are the equipments and tools you will be asked to use in the particular designation? Because certain equipments and tools that are asked for in the job description, if you are not proficient enough to use them, you may not apply. They don't select you because they are essential criteria. They are without which you can't have any consideration from the employer to consider your application. Let me give you some examples. You will understand with the examples, you will understand how much of the equipment and tools that are described in the JD are important. First and foremost, information technology tools. Nowadays, as entire globe is turning around uh, off campus, on campus, online and offline, all those kind of changes in the work structure, job nature, all of us are supposed to be compatible with some international information technology tools. Basically, mobile smartphones, laptops, and the requirement of internet to use these two things. So we should be proficient enough in dealing with these three, at least to the minimum level expected as IT equipments and tools. Over and above for IT designations, IT profiles, there'll be other different requirements with reference to that particular domain. But for all of us in any profile, in any domain you are going to work, will require basic IT tools and equipments proficiency. That is the essential requirement. Henceforth, the job market, the employment market has changed in such a way that without these three minimum IT tools, you can't work. Anytime there are chances for your employer to declare it as an online job, declare it as a work from home job, irrespective of the nature of the job. So essentially, you should be proficient in handling laptops, smartphones with internet. Then electrical tools. This is with reference to that specific domain. Electrical profiles, electrical designations in the department of maintenance, utilities, where this particular profile is called for engineering, tasks in the electrical department, then that particular position candidate should have some proficiency in the electrical appliances. Example, if you are working, going to work as electrician, you will definitely be being asked about voltage, wattage, and the electrical compatibility of different tools that are used in a business, especially the genset power backup system, industrial generators, their capacities, 
depending the type of the industry. So all these proficiencies are, though they are technical, at different levels, different expectations are there. So this point also you should know when you are applying for an electrical department position. You may be compatible with the 100 watts appliances, but the organization, the employer has asked for 1000 watts. You may be compatible with 1000 watts, but they are asked for higher versions. Then you will be simply wasting your uh, time of application and doing interview. If at all they, select, they call for interview, they are not going to select because you don't have the compatibility. If at all they are ready to select you, you will be underemployed. They don't give you what they promised in the JD. So it's better to note, and if it is not compatible for your skill level and knowledge level, it is better not to apply. Don't waste your time and also the employer's time. Next, clerical, clerical equipment tools. These are also required irrespective of any managerial or supervisor, supervisory position. There are certain minimum clerical jobs expected to be done. For those things, we need to be compatible with the MS Word. In general, MS Office tools like MS Word, PowerPoint, Excel, so these are minimum clerical requirements in present days. So it's better to have a know-how of how to use these tools. And the typewriter. Typewriter is nothing but the keyboard that we are using connected to us, monitor or a laptop. So it is better to have a sense of this finger touches of alphabets and the keys with some fastness. That's again a minimum requirement I'm saying for all the profiles. So in terms of equipment and tools, these are all also expected. Next, mechanical, mechanical equipment and tools. So if you are going to work in an ordinary position, any other domain, mechanical equipment will not be your tool. So you need not bother. But if your profile is in mechanical domain, then there are different specifications of tools and equipments that you should be proficient enough in, depending the level, the task, and the proficiency that you are expected to do the job. So those who are applying for mechanical positions, mechanical designations, please note that the specifications that are given in JD are very essential for your career. At least for a positive selection note from the employer. Next, communication tools. So how much you are compatible with email writing, email receiving and responding? How much you are able to use the tools that are available for communication, mobile, video conferencing tools, meeting tools, conference calls, Then email group, um, uh, uh, like uh, you are going to send an email to the entire office group or you are going to make a group of email addresses and send them in one bulk. So these kind of tools are in general required for any profile. Where the JD is going to tell you what kind of requirement you need to be equipped with in terms of communication tools. Next comes electronics. Electronic tools also specifically required for electronical domain. Otherwise also, whatever tools which I mentioned now, 
laptops, monitor, smartphones, all these are electronic devices. You should be minimum compatible enough to use them when they are required at a point of time in terms of pressure, time schedules, and the transaction speedness. With reference to these factors, you should be compatible enough to use of these kind of tools. That's again, equipment and tools related information that you should be bothered while preparing for interview. Next, very highly prof professional technical tool which we are talking is legal tools. For all the profiles, there are certain legally expected tools. This is not with reference to the prof profession that you are going to be doing, it, the career that you are going to be practicing or the task that you are going to be doing as to your designation, but to deal with people. So any profile at any level will be expected to have some legal awareness of dealing with the opposite gender, dealing with the superior and subordinate. Dealing with customers and vendors, suppliers, and other stakeholders, those who are come in contact with your business. As a career employee, as an employee of an organization, you are supposed to be aware of, legally aware of these kind of transactions. What is if and but of this particular transaction? For example, security related matters, you can't share, with, share it with any X or Y. Security matters, especially with reference to your laptop, official laptop, password, credentials of username and other entries into different softwares, different profiles, different uh, websites and portals of your company. If you are a free person sharing everything to everybody and you share these details, you are legally caught anytime. This is simple requirement. With reference to people also, opposite gender, same gender, subordinate and uh, superior relationship. How you have to deal with them? How you should... Uh, uh, hold the dignity and respect without any damage to each other. These are all some requirements as per law applicable in many organization. That's again a tool, legal tool that you should be minimum aware of in terms of dealing with your people. With this, let me close this session with reference to the equipments and tools that you should be bothered about when you are preparing for an interview. Thank you, bye.